It's very common when a horse comes in a little off, a little uncomfortable, or even lame, that we go ahead and check the horse's legs for heat sensitivity in the suspensory, sensitivity in the deep digital or the superficial flexor tendon, and we check for pulses. So we can let the veterinarian know what we found um, when they come out or when we talk to them. But it's also a very good idea to go ahead and know the the baseline sensitivity or not sensitivity, insensitivity of your horse's suspensories, um, flexor tendons, and that they don't typically have a slight pulse. That way, as we increase their workload, they get turned out on pasture, and we're concerned that the, the, the grass is too much, we know what is normal for them. It's like knowing a baseline temperature. So when we come down and we want to palpate the pulses, digital pulses, I slide down here between the suspensory and the flexor tendons, and you're just on the back of the fetlock here, and if everything's good, you don't feel a pulse. When you come down, I'm feeling with my thumb here and actually my um, index, I mean my ring finger and middle finger as I come down and just lightly feeling. You don't want to press hard because you can inhibit the, the pulse. Feel for any heat, feel for any pulsations happening. Sometimes you'll feel it more on the inside, sometimes you'll feel it more on the outside depending on what's going on. But if everything's good, you don't feel a pulse. But take the time to really just feel and relax and, and see if you find any pulse evident there. When you want to palpate the suspensory and palpate the, the um, flexor tendons, a lot of people do it on the ground. Well, the horse has a lot of tension on it. You can't really pinch and feel and get to the deeper fibers. So I asked the horse to go ahead and lift his leg. And we're going to go ahead and just behind the back of the cannon bone here, that's where the suspensory is. You can see it running right through here. Even though he has long hair, you can see it pretty nicely. And I'm pinching, and I get a little flinching response, but nothing really bad. And I'm pinching pretty deeply, just like this, trying to squeeze my two fingers together and the suspensory is in between. Then we have this gap here where we have our arteries come down and lymphatics come down, come up right in there. And you can feel between, it's like uh, two thick pieces of strap. The bottom one is your deep flexor tendon. I'm moving that around and pinching it. That's good. And then you keep that a little tight and then you run into the bottom of your superficial flexor tendon. And I'm pinching that for sensitivity. So it's a great thing to know, okay, he feels fine on his superficial, his deep flexor's good, just a little bit of reaction and the suspensory. And you want to go the, actually the whole length down through, especially the suspensory, to feel for any reactions. And of course, when you're getting a baseline, you need to check the good leg and the bad leg, and especially when you come in with a problem. You want to check maybe what seems to be the normal leg, the reaction, the pulse, and then check it against the one that you're suspicious. So you have a comparison between the two. It's well worth taking the time to do this on a regular basis, and it's well worth taking the time to learn how to do it. So when you need to do it, you feel comfortable and confident in what you're doing.